Lord Jesus Christ, deacons, members of God's church. It's just a blessing to be here today. Yeah. And, and you get we have gotten away from the old, we're getting away from the old order. Good Friday. We had no thoughts we were going to church. Amen.
he said, on the cross of Calvary on Golgotha Hill, on a Roman cross being crucified as he hung, there bleeding precious blood from his body said, I thirst. All right, all right. How can the very one who was born king, who raised the dead, right. gave sight to the blind, fed for 5,000 men respectively, thirst. Now, now, this is not the first time Jesus thirsted. Because we, we, we see here that Jacob's well telling the, the Samaritan woman who drew out water, which the gospel, according to John, says that Jesus asked her to give me to drink. And, and the conversation went on where she became somewhat defensive in saying, how is it that you, being a Jew, ask me for a drink when Jews don't have any dealings with us? Yes, you don't deal with us Samaritans. But, but Jesus follows up by saying, if you knew the gift of God who asked you for a drink, you would be asking him. And he would have given you living water. Now the question is today, how can Jesus, the living water on the cross, thirst? But why? 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 Come on, that the truth of the matter is that Jesus thirsted knowing that in 1951, uh, me, a little boy, nine years old, would be baptized, and in 54, he would thirst for salvation. His Holy Spirit. Yeah. So therefore on the cross, yeah. he thirsted. Yeah. That I might have joy. Yeah. Living joy. Yeah. 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 yeah, I thirst for salvation. Yeah. As he thirsted on the cross, that I might have the right to the tree of life. I, I, I was born, yes I was, of the water. Yeah, yeah. And of the may not be a shocking thing, but I just want to explain this today. I, I was born of the water and of the spirit because Jesus on the cross suffered and physically thirsted in my state for my salvation so that he may fulfill. Now, now, as I am closing, there is no oxymoron to this message. The thirst of a woman at the well, like all men, is far greater than the water that she was drinking from Jacob's well. That water is the same water we daily drink from fountains and bottles, but there is a deeper thirst yeah. in all men, all women and boys and girls, to be successful, eternally happy, but they can't get it at the liquor store. Uh, they can't get it fornicating, laying in the bed, uh, trying to fulfill that lustful fornicating. People thirst in many different ways. Right. They go to bars, they go to parties, they go to 
different uh, settings to try and fulfill that thirst. But the only way that you can fulfill that thirst is go to the cross. Yeah, the cross of Calvary, which cannot be granted from drinking water from a well. You can't get this uh, thirst uh, in the soul of man where you're thirsting and sometimes people are going here and there. But this is why the word of God is so important to be preached to fulfill that thirst of mankind. Yes, yes. The fountains, uh, like I used to drink from and still drink from, cannot uh, fulfill that thirst where I need a helping hand. Where the loneliness comes into my life, I need to go to the cross. Like Jesus told the woman at the well. And I'm closing, I'm closing. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this one shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall drink, uh, uh, give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him, yes, shall he uh, be in him as a well of water. Uh, spring, uh, spring up into everlasting life. Yes. The question now, as I close and go to my seat, uh, Jesus is not why or uh, how did he thirst, but why did he thirst? Brother preachers, I'm telling you, I was lost for me. I was lost, and I said as I uh, was looking and seeking for salvation, got on my knees and I said, now if I don't fulfill the Holy Spirit, then I'll just leave and stop praying. But as I was down there on my knees praying, as my mother instructed me, put your mind on the Lord. Yeah, and raise your hands to your God on the throne. As I put my mind on the Lord. Uh, I don't know, but I can't explain it, but when I came to myself, I was saying, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. It felt like a, a stone that dropped off of my heart. I felt like running. I was bad. That's okay. I, I was bad to go to the church that night to tell them that I was filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus, thirsty on the cross.